Hello everyone and welcome, I am Tal, your Gamer Noel, and today I thought we would go some old school a little bit and play some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, the Mystery Dungeon games, in my opinion, are far superior than the standard Pokemon games. I think they have a much more engaging storyline, uh, the characters themselves are a lot more engaging. Uh, it's just all around a fantastic game, all of them. And while the one that we have available is Rescue Team DX. Uh, the other ones for the 3DS and for the standard DS were also fan-freaking-tastic. So if you have not played the Mystery Dungeon games yet, you need to. They are wonderful, wonderful games with great, great, great storylines. And today, since it's what I have available, we're going to play some Mystery Dungeon DX. So here we go. Now, I haven't played this in quite a while so i might be a little slow in the uptake on some things and remembering what is what and where is what and blah 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 blah. but like i said it's one of my all-time favorite games i think it's fantastic and i hope you will find it as good as i do and enjoy it as much as i do of course yes we want english is english okay yes Automatically saves your progress. Wonderful. Ooh, that is loud. Let's turn that down just a little bit here. Hopefully I didn't turn it down too much. Here we go, new game. Yay! I'm so excited. I haven't played this in so long. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. The road forks to the right and the left. You are told there is a treasure on the right side. What do you do? It's a trap! Go left! You come across a treasure chest. How do you react? Ooh, it's gonna be empty. <laughs> I'm not an optimistic person. What do you do with your room's light when you're going to bed at night? Turn it off. It is a pleasant day at the beach. How do you feel? Uh, this is a tough one, because I have had wonderful experiences at the beach, and I've had absolutely the worst experiences at the beach before. Um, yeah, we'll say this was great. You are offered a choice of two gifts. Which one will you take? I am... Uh, it's a small box. There is an alien invasion. What will you do? Uh, it depends, really. If I like the aliens, I might decide to go say hi. Uh, we will say they're, since they're invading, obviously, I guess I'm going to fight. You valiantly fight the aliens, but you are defeated. An alien says to you, You have impressed us. It was a pleasure to see. Join us, and together we shall rule the world. What will you do? I'm going to roll with the aliens. <laughs> do others tell you to watch what you say? Uh, not so much anymore. Do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? That is an absolute yes. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? I'm a flaming hobo! Not really. Not not really so much on the flaming part. <laughs> you appear to be 
the calm type. You're capable of giving advice to friends with worries. You don't like to fight. You're a warm, kind-hearted person who cares. You must have many friends who look up to you. However, you may also be somewhat gullible. That is actually accurate. As well as a little careless. And even a little meddlesome. Also accurate. You might want to keep those points in mind. A calm person like you should be... A mudkip. No! I don't want mudkip. No, that's not right. I don't want friggin' mudkip. Which Pokemon would you like to be? I would like to be... Do I go with my standard or do I go with something else? Huh. So the last couple times I played this game, I... I love Cubone. I think he's a great choice to start this game. You know what, actually, I'm just gonna go with that. Cubone! You appear to be the Pokemon Cubone, is that correct? Yes, exactly. Whee! This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Who will be your partner? Well, the obvious choice is Charmander, but... Being that I'm a ground type, I need something that's going to handle water well or such. Um, for me, at least, it's between Trico and Totodile. Let's do Totodile. Yes. Also a boy. Yes. What is your partner's nickname? Oof. Ah, uh, <laughs> I have a friend who will appreciate this. Moto. So, some time ago when I was actively writing stories, I did a Pokemon fanfic because, you know, most furries do at some point. <laughs> and uh, the friend I was working on this with was playing a Totodile named Moto. So, here we are. Yes, they are good. Okay, we are all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. Whee! Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a present pleasant breeze. And I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Hey. Hey, wake up. Wake up already. Oh god. Oh good, you finally came to. Uh Where is this? You were passed out there. I'm glad you woke up. I'm Moto. Glad to meet you. So, who might you be? I haven't seen your face around here. Huh? You say you're a human. But any which way I look at you, you're a normal Cubone. Huh? And it's true! I have turned into a Cubone! But why? I don't remember anything. You're some kind of weird. So what's your name? What do you call yourself? My name? That's right. My name is... I am Tal the Gamer No, so we will go with Tal. Oop. Oh my god! There we go. Is Tal okay? Yes. Uh-huh. Tal. That's... A funny name! <laughs> Somebody please help me! Eh? I hear shouting over there. What's the matter? 
it's horrible. My canopy fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fish opened in the ground and my canopy fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, this Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fisher and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. You're a fucking level th third evolution Pokemon. You should be fine. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. We can't just do nothing. Let's go help this kid. Okay. The cabin's that way. Oh. <laughs> Tiny woods. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is. It's a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and the items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but first we have to find the stairs. And you remember that Butterfree said Pokemon in the dungeon attack, right? It, if necessary, we gotta fight. We can do it, Tal! Yes, we can! So as you'll notice, every time I move, the little red dots on the map there move too. Well, a couple of them do at least. Use a move with A. Use Brick Break. Sunker and Fainted. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> missed me. Take that! What is it doing? Oh, it's using a random move. Alright, I gotta refresh myself on the, uh controls here. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. Bam! Hit butt! So now there's no other Pokemon in the dungeon. Like to go on? Yes, I will. Basement, second floor. You yellow teammates, green items, blue enemy Pokemon, red stairs, white. So what you'll notice here is that you have little icons, like the little blue triangle or the yellow circle. That tells you how effective it is against the Pokemon you're about to attack. Let's do that one. Yeah! And one other thing I gotta do. Okay. Spend a few minutes trying to figure out some settings, but I can't find the one I'm looking for, so I'm just gonna have to wait for it to get to that part of the tutorial. Okay, is the money of this world. You can use it when you want to buy something. Money's always good. Eat an orange berry to restore some HP. To eat one, press X to open the menu, and then select bag. Oops. Press L for auto mode. Let's look around. Why look? Found some pookie. The auto mode is something that did not exist in the original game and is super, super helpful to speed things along. Boink. I was slowed. No! Brutal swing. And as you just saw, your partner can go get stuff too. Let's see if we can go find this other item. Get 
It's a Rost Berry. Removes the burn condition. Nice. Uh, I forget how to do just a basic attack. That works. Yes, he said. I know there's a way to skip your turn. I just don't remember what it is. Dumbass forgot that we're not vulnerable. We are vulnerable to grass types, both of us. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, too late now. <laughs> Mommy, where are you? We came to rescue you. Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Ah, oh, don't worry, lady. There have been a lot of quakes and fissures lately. It's dangerous. I'm glad your little guy's not hurt, honestly. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Moto, and this is Tal. Da 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 da. Cool. He's uh staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes—it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Tal and Moto and Tal. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Tiny Reviver Seed. You got a Petra Berry. You got 500 Poke. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for helping me out. You're pretty tough. I respect that. So, uh, what are you going to do? After this, I mean. Hmm. Say, Tal, if you don't have anywhere to stay, why don't you come with me? Okay. Off we go. Well, this is the place. Wow! I can't explain it, but I'm really happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. Might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter, I'm happy! Maybe I feel that way because I'm a cute bone. Oh, Tao, I can tell you're impressed. I thought you'd like it. I figured you'd find this easy, an easy place to live, Tao. In fact, I was sure you'd like it. This is your mailbox. This is where you'll get mail from other Pokemon. You know that Fisher Caterpie fell into? There have been other natural disasters like that all of a sudden. A lot of Pokemon out there are hurting from those disasters. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make this a safer place for Pokemon. And, uh, I think you're capable after seeing how you did rescuing Caterpie. How would you like to form a rescue team with me? Tal, I think we'd make the world's greatest rescue team. How about it? Hmm. Just because I'm a dick. Huh? Oh, no, come on. Tal, I'm positive we'd make a first-class rescue team. So, come on, I'm begging you. Let's form a rescue team, you and me. No. Huh? Oh, no, come on. <laughs> he doesn't say anything else. Okay. Okay, that's done it. Starting right now, me and you, Tal, we're partners. I'm counting on you. And the team's name? Actually, I haven't thought of one yet. Hey, Tal, what do you think would be a good name? No, oh, dear. If team efficiency? No. Cubadile. Yeah. Is Cubadile okay? Cubadile. 
Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. Oh, and one more thing. I had decided to wear this on the day I got started on a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. I don't want it. I don't want to wear clothes. I want to be naked like a regular Pokemon. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks good on you. Wearing this makes me feel focused. We're like we're on a team, you know? Rescue Team Cuba Dial. We begin tomorrow. Let's do it. Yay! And that is how Tal and Moto began their careers together as a rescue team. <laughs> All right. The next morning. Mm. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Cubone. Why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm. I don't understand this at all. Mm. Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Moto? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Moto's doing. I should go out. <laughs> ah! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so excited. I've been waiting out here since dawn. I guess I just fell asleep. Anyway. Our rescue team officially begins. Let's do this right. Uh, so, uh, we don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Moto checked the mailbox. The mailbox contained a rescue team starter set. I knew it'd be there. It's the rescue team starter set. You always get one when you start a rescue team. Opened the rescue team starter set. There was a rescue team badge inside. There was a toolbox inside too. There was also an issue of Pokemon news. Yeah. There's all sorts of good stuff in it. This rescue team badge. It's proof that you're in a rescue team. This toolbox too. You can use it to keep items that you find in dungeons. I'll put the stuff that Butterfree gave us in here. Might as well put it to good use. Items are really useful. Let's use them on our adventures. And we have here a copy of the Pokemon News. It has useful information for rescuers. I'll leave the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later. Why not just, you know, give it to me? It's my freaking mail! And let's see. Is there any other mail? Did we miss anything? Moto checked the mailbox. But the mailbox was empty. Okay, so there isn't any mail for us after all. If there were any rescue jobs, we would be getting mail. But I guess no one knows us because we just started this team. <laughs> flap, flap. Huh? What's up? You tell me. You're looking up. Hey! Boonk! Maybe it's a rescue job request. Come on, what's it say? Tal read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strange electromagnetic magnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. This isn't enough to form a magneton. It's not complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Magnemite's friend. So, what do you think? Should we go for it? Yes, let's go! That's what I want to hear! Let's do this right! Heroic Pose! <laughs> Thunder Wave Cave! Oh, there you are. My friends are in this cavern. My friends should be on basement 6th floor. Please help them. <laughs>
Here we go. Hold B and press that to dash. Hold B. Woo! Woo! Apple! If your belly is feeling empty, eat an apple to recover. If your belly reaches zero, your HP will go down every time you make a move. You can press B to open your toolbox. It's quicker than opening from the X menu. Oink. Bye, Ratata. I'm good against you. Bone club. Boom. Yes. Second floor basement. Face multiple enemies at once. Retreat to a corridor to fight them one at a time. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your opponents will also make one move. Turns always go in order. On the other hand, if you don't move, neither will your opponents. Take your time and choose your actions wisely. Brick break! Level up! Got two defense, nice, and two speed. Sweet, yeah, I'll level up. Boink, ah, what? Die, you Pokeball wannabe. Moto leveled up. Plus two attack, plus two defense, plus two speed. Awesome. Yeah, leveled up. Would you like to go up? Yes. Thunderwave Cave. If you're in a dungeon and fail your adventure, you lose all the items and money you're carrying. Onward. Oh, dear. I forget what these are. Let's find out. Wonder Tile! Your lowered stats will return to normal, but if your stats have been boosted, they'll also return to normal. So watch out! You can change the leader of Pokemon you control by pressing that. You'll be able to control Pokemon other than just the hero. Check how to play by pressing the select button. You can find a lot of good tips for adventuring next. Yeah! Metal Claw! The other good part is, you notice in the upper right up there, there is a orange circle with a number in it. That is your hunger level. And the hunger only goes down for the Pokemon you're controlling. If you take a tiny reviver seed or a reviver seed into a dungeon, you'll be revived as soon as you faint. Yay! We like being revived when fainting. I want to defeat everybody! Haha. -ha. Oh, that's right! Lightning Rod attacks always. Electric attacks always go to just me. I totally forgot about that. Ooh, your moves sometimes power up as you use them. A move's gauge changes from one to that to that and that. When it's full, the pow move will power up, increasing our power, accuracy, and power points. The amount. A move grows is shared by your team, so if your whole team uses the same move, that move's growth will be faster. Play nice. I don't want to play nice. I want to kick your ass. Yes, I would like to go on. Oh, look. It is two Magnemite. Oh, hey, there they are. Let's get them out. Our body is separated. Rejoice! Yay! Yay! Be thankful, you two. You are our heroes! Thank you! You got a big apple! You got an ore and berry. You got 650 poke! I'm 
sure glad our rescue went well today. Me too. I have to admit, since that was our first job as a rescue team, I was really nervous. I'm wiped out. I'll go home and get some sleep. Let's do this again tomorrow. See you! Why can't we share a bed? I love you, Tony Doyle. Where... where am I? Maybe this is a dream? Oh, there's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? Mm -hmm. Can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what that dream was about. Oh well, today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better check the mailbox. Cal checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Morning, Cal. You're up early. Oh, you checked the mailbox, did you? So what's the word? Were there any rescue jobs for us? Nope. There's nothing! Oh, Well, I guess that makes sense. After all, we only just started up. Well, no point in moping. Let's go back. Check the Pokemon Square. I think there will be jobs posted at the Pelipper Post Office. Pokemon Square is over this way. Let's go! This is Pokemon Square. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. You can save your money, your Pokemon there. This is the Gulpin Link shop. Gulpin will link moves for you. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. If you need details, you'd be better off asking Gulpin. This is Kangaskhan Storage. Store items here so they'll never be lost. If you have important items, store them here before you head out on a, to a dungeon. And the Makuhita Dojo is over there. At the dojo, you can learn or practice various maneuvers used in dungeons. How do you like it? The shops are useful, huh? Oh yeah, there's also the Pelipper Post Office. It's straight ahead past here. I'm sure you can get information on rescue jobs there. So let's start with a visit to the Pelipper Post Office. Your partner will tell you all kinds of things. When you're not sure where to go, just ask your partner. It's a Pelipper Post Office. Let's check out the Pelipper Post Office. Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office? The Pelipper Post Office would be right down this path. It's out at the Cape. You can't miss it. I don't know why, but there's been many natural disasters lately. A lot of Pokemon have become wild and violent because the disaster scared them. It's a mean world out there. There was a forest fire not long ago. It was terrible. Luckily, Blast Boys and Alligator were able to douse it quickly. But it could have been much worse if they were slower getting there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've heard fissures have opened up in the ground here and there. There's trouble for everyone. It worries me to no end thinking that children will fall down into them. Whee! Over there, the Pelipper Post Office.
Well then. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescue. Take a look at this. See this bulletin board? It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Bulletin board. Tiny Woods, Thunder Wave Cave, Thunder Wave Cave, Thunder Wave Cave. I will take them all. See? There were jobs posted, right? If you want to go on a rescue, choose the job and then go to the dungeon that's indicated. You can head to the dungeons from the path near the base. For the time being, we should just stick with jobs posted here. Our team will become known after we do some more rescue jobs. I bet we'll get job offers in our mailbox soon. What's inside the Pelipper Post Office? Hello and welcome to the Pelipper Post Office! Is this your first time here? Here you can use the internet or password so you and your friends can rescue each other. If your team faints in a dungeon, you can ask for help. Or you can go out and help someone else's team. And that's not all! You can also rescue your own team with your team members! If someone comes to rescue you, you'll be revived without losing anything. And if you rescue someone else, you can get a reward! Everybody wins! Everyone can help each other out. You should give it a try sometime. Note, in order to enjoy these rescue missions, you will need to set your Nintendo Switch console's date and time accurately. Which leads me to... Hello, this is the Pelipper Post Office. When you're ready to head out on a rescue mission, go on over to the departure gate. So yeah, you can actually pick up stuff from other people that need rescuing and help them out and do all kinds of fun stuff. But we're not here for that right now. Alright, I think that's a good start. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, I guess. <laughs> it is a remake of the original Pokemon Rescue Team, or Rescue, yeah, Blue Rescue Team, Red Rescue Team, etc. They just kind of combined it into one game. Um, they originally came out for the Game Boy Advance, I think. And then it was re-released on the DS because it was so close together when the game released versus when the DS released. So they did Red Rescue Team on the uh, the Advance, I think. I could be wrong on that. And then they put the Blue Rescue Team on the DS. It could be reversed. I forget. Either way, uh, that's it for this video. So please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button if you'd like to see more videos. Hit that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts on this game as well. Please put them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if my voices are too funky or out of place or blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we'll go from there. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya! Some person like you should be... A mudkip. No, I don't want mudkip. No, that's not right. I don't want friggin' mudkip. Which Pokemon would you like to be? I would like to be. Do I go with my standard or do I go with something else? You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna go with that. Here, bomb!